I've, I've, you know, developed and grown pretty deep roots within um, the sustainable agriculture movement, but even more so than that, um, I'm really passionate about and interested in stewardship, correct stewardship of the earth, sure. and, you know, the best, the best possible way that, you know, I can take care of and I can be a part of all of the life around us. Mm -hmm. And so... It's, it's interesting to go back to the, you mentioned the food deserts and how, um, you know, in our day and age right here, not, I mean, not necessarily right here, but um, where humanity's at is we have all of these, you know, metropolitan areas, these huge areas where, where they truly are food deserts. And mm -hmm. if, if these truckloads of food didn't come into the city every day, you know, within Within a couple of days, the entire city would be in chaos, you know, right. looking for food, going out of the city because it is a desert and, and in a lot of ways, it's a really dangerous spot to be. Yeah. And what I, what I see, though, is, um, is that even though Twin Falls, you know, isn't necessarily of, you know, of that scale sure. in size, we are very much so a food desert in ourselves mm -hmm. in that. And the irony of it, the the irony of it is that we're surrounded by fields upon fields, you know, of yeah. you know, hundreds of thousands of acres of farmland and in these huge monocrop situations. But all of that food is either designated for something else, it's being fed into another, you know, huge um, situation like a you know a feedlot of cattle mm -hmm. or yeah whatever it be it serves an industry it doesn't yeah. serve the people exactly right? yeah. exactly the local community exactly right? and so what we want to do more than you know provide a, a solution to something that makes sense which is getting people access to fresh and local food is we want to you know build a culture of people that are number one excited about this but at the same time interested in you know interested in, in being able to provide for themselves being able yeah. to you know sustain sustain something without you know being so dependent on these these larger systems in place right yeah yeah well it's it's you know like you said they, it's true that we're not in a large city this isn't a big city by any means um, but like just like a lot of cities we have a, a major disconnect from the food in which we eat like I know I do I know that that's something that I've come to terms with growing up and kind of becoming more maybe political conscious or something like that you know being aware <clears throat> of how this whole thing operates and who it works for so it, it's yeah it's interesting that we live in really a this is the act as far as the economy goes in this region it's primarily based on dairies and uh, you know agri agriculture mm -hmm and yeah, big yeah, ag yeah yeah but it's not well i mean you're talking about sustainable agriculture you know that's something that is not very uh it's not something that this industry is really interested in it doesn't serve their their bottom line right as far as profits and all that yeah and yeah so even if we do live in a an agricultural i don't know agricultural city or i don't even know what it is like we're an economy that's based on agricultural products mm -hmm. there's still this emphasis on large-scale production which does not care about um like the fact is like okay my friend Braden brought me his grandmother's um chickens eggs okay she has like a farm so she just brought these you know these mm -hmm. chickens just kind of wander around and eat whatever is available to them and he brought those eggs to me and i had made them and I made two eggs that were from like just a big whatever product wherever it's from some yeah. big you know thing and I cracked them open and then I cracked them open next to the eggs that I got from my friend the difference was so startling I mean it's so stupid that it's like that's the way it is but one is like this pale runny yellow egg like just like it looks sickly and then the next thing is just it's, the other one is just vibrant deep orange and it's just the taste is different you can feel the new you can almost feel how different it makes you feel. You yeah, know? you can feel the difference, and and that's what we need more of. Mm-hmm. 
you know and the only way you and the, the truth is the only way you can really get that is through local production yeah. you know, people think that you can go to a Whole Foods and to some extent you could probably get some pretty decent food that way but I think that the problem with Whole Foods is that it's kind of designated for a certain class of people usually uh, more wealthy people right yeah and, <clears throat> and I think if you if you bring it more to a local level and like what you're doing with this this business you're making it easier for people, and I and I imagine it's pretty affordable. I imagine that's that's kind of a part of your goal. I would hope that yeah. you know, you, you know, of course, you have to take care of yourself. But I mean, that's mm -hmm. a, you know, part of the part of the equation is like, how do we make this accessible to the average person? 